Okay guys, so uh, a lot of people wanted to know how to install Windows 8 and so I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 8 on your tablet and so there's a few steps, you can see the steps here uh, we're going to go through them all real quick so let me delete my tabs here so the first thing that you need to do is download the Windows 7 USB tool so I've given you the address in the comments you just go over here and click download then you go to the other address and download the actual ISO file, the Windows Release Preview. So you can just go here and download it by clicking it and it'll start downloading here. I already have it, so I'm just going to cancel that. Then, uh, like I said, you've downloaded the USB tool. Let's go to it right now to take a look at what it looks like. There it is. So in this, you're just going to choose Browse to the ISO file and then you're going to select the USB that you want to put it in. Uh, the USB has to be at least four gigabytes. And then you're going to click finish and it will format your USB drive for you. Uh, so here you see we've done this one, we've done this one, we've downloaded the ISO, we've downloaded the USB tool, we've created the portable USB, and now we've got to partition your hard drive space. So we, uh, if you don't know how to get there, you go here, click disk, manage, and create and format disk partitions. So right now you probably have one or more disk partitions. Uh, so for example, if, if I go into mine, I can see I have C drive, D drive. Now my D drive has 16 gigabytes free, so we're gonna use that for this example. You probably need more than that, but I'm gonna show you how to reduce it. So here's my D drive. I'm gonna say shrink the volume. You're gonna wanna shrink your volume by more than 20 gigabytes. Uh, so that you can create it. If you don't have that disk space free, you're probably out of luck. Uh, so right click on the partition that you want to shrink. And I'm going to shrink mine to uh, 8,000. So basically 8 gigabytes. I'm going to say shrink. And it's not going to hurt your hard drive space. It's just going to create another logical partition by telling it to shrink it. Uh, so it's just going to create a bunch of free space. Okay, you see now it has that 7.8 gigabytes unallocated. I'm going to say new simple volume. It brings up this little wizard, new, new, assign the letter H, next, finish. So now we're going to have a new volume called H. So when we actually go into the install, that's the volume you're going to pick to install the partition on. So now that you've done that, uh, we've done all of these things. So it's left to prepare the tablet. So I'm going to go to my camera to show you how it works with the tablet. And the reason we have to do things to the tablet is because the tablet right now is probably not able to accept a USB drive or uh, it's probably not able to accept any keyboard input. So we have to change that and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so in the, in the introduction we showed you how to prepare your computer and uh, prepare your little USB stick that you're going to be using to install uh, Windows 8 on your tablet. So there's a few things you should know about your tablet. Uh, and one, you're going to be using these hard buttons on the tablet, uh, your volume up and down buttons, and your screen switch button. And this goes for the Samsung 7 series. Your buttons may be different on your tablet. Uh, the other thing that we'll be using is this little Windows button. And when you boot up your computer, you want to hold down on this Windows button until your BIOS comes up. So, as you see, the BIOS has now come up because we held down on that Windows button. Now, uh, you see that there's many menus up at the top. And to switch those menus, you hold on this uh, little, you know, switch screen button and use the volume buttons. So, I'm using the volume buttons and you can see that I'm switching menus there. See that? So let me tell you the menus you're going to need to change. So you'll go to the boot menu and click boot device priority. And then you'll use the screen switch button to press enter. And you'll want the USB key to be the first one on there. That way when you plug this in, it's the first one to boot. So that's the one you need to change. Now we'll switch over by the way, this is your back button, so we'll go back and then we'll use uh, hold down on the switch screen and press 
the volume buttons to go to advanced and here are the ones you need enabled so let's get a good zoom on that so I will name them out so you need CPU power saving mode is enabled hyper threading enabled EDB execute disable bit enabled and legacy USB support enabled now legacy USB support will allow you to plug in your mouse and keyboard uh, which will be handy when you're typing out all the information. So that is it. Once you have that stuff changed in the BIOS, uh, use your buttons and say save and exit and then reboot and place this in your USB. I recommend you have a USB splitter and put in your keyboard and this USB uh, to boot. So let's, let's boot up and see what happens. Okay, we're booting. Now you'll see this time with our USB in there, and we've told it to uh, priority boot from USB, it is going to bring up the Windows installation interface. And from this point on, it's self-explanatory. You're gonna go in, you're gonna choose the partition that we created earlier, and then you're just gonna choose to install on that partition. Everything else is very self-explanatory, like installing any Windows. All the hard stuff, so to speak, will have already been done. Oh yeah. So, taking a while to boot up, see, there you go, now it's telling you, you know, where, do you want to install it, et cetera, et cetera. So that's pretty much it. Uh, once you've prepared your USB, once you've prepared your partition, uh, once you've told your computer to enable USB and to make USB the, uh, the, the boot drive, you're ready to go. Uh, everything else will be done automatically. You'll be, uh, it will all automatically create. Uh, when you boot up, it'll let you. It'll tell you whether you want Windows 8 or Windows 7 to boot, all that kind of stuff. So, hope that's helped you out. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up on the comments, and I'll do the best I can. Thanks. Bye bye.